Hello YouTube, Mr. Forks. Um, first tutorial in my attempt to do a tutorial every day. Now, some of my tutorials are going to be covering some stuff that I'm doing in my newest short film, uh, which is called Amnesia, hopefully out uh, mid to late August, should all things go to plan. So, we're going to be looking at taking a video um, footage and painting out this building here so removing an object from video um, now you can do that inside software I'm going to be doing like a same tutorial but for shake um, but for now I want to focus on just um, using Photoshop and After Effects combined you could do this just inside After Effects but this is the way I like to do it if you don't like to do it this way then don't watch this tutorial Okay, so first of all, what we want to do is we've got our video layer, and you can tell it's a video layer because it's got this like video film icon thing there. And what we want to do is duplicate it. I set up a short key. I would strongly recommend setting up a short key for duplicating. And um, for me, it is Command Shift L. Now duplicate the layer and right click and rasterize. So now it's just going to be still image, and duplicate it again. So we're going to play around with this layer. Um, we're going to call this one our safe layer, so if we want to go back or look at the original, that's that. And this is going to be our original. Call this edit. Good to keep organised. When you're working with a large project like a DVD cover, you want to organise all your stuff. I'll do a DVD cover tutorial soon. Okay, so how do we remove this building? So there's a few ways to do it. With Photoshop CS5, you can obviously attempt to use the uh, content aware film. So hit L to go to the lasso tool and just roughly draw it around this house or this building and it may do well, it may not hard to tell shift delete there you go, content where I feel okay. and as you can see it's made a start which is all we need um, Unfortunately, it's now tried to think that this building is also here. Um, don't know why. Now we're going to use the clone stamp tool, so hit S to go into that. Right click, we we'll want to bring our hardness down, maybe t uh, 10 12 percent, and then start hit enter to get rid of that box. Uh, command or control plus to zoom in, command or control minus to zoom out. And basically, we're going to pick some areas that we want to use and just start filling it in this place looks cool we use some of that Ooh, as you can see we're getting a bit of an edge here which is not what we want and try to make it look less repeating e there we go you see that we've got a nice like um, hedge line here so we're going to try and use that hedge And just um, paint the hedge in. Yeah. So that we can um, make it look like the hedge is going all the way along. Just like that. So that's quite a quick attempt, um, but it will do. Just like that, there we go. So we can see we've got two streaking lines there. We want to get rid of one because um, otherwise it looks dodgy. So let's zoom out, Command or Control minus. And as you can see, very quickly we've created a still thing. As you notice, there's a few of these like lines here. Um, just want to get rid of a couple of them. Um, paint in some of this tree a bit more. Just like that. There we go. And that's looking quite nice. So I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to save the project. Command Shift S. And 
I'm going to go into my desktop, which is somewhere here. There we go. Anyone else watch the Harry Potter trailer? Pretty cool, huh? Save it in there. Then go into After Effects and we're going to open up what we just saved. Bring that in. Make sure it's imported as a composition. Press OK. If we double click on the composition, we can see we've now got a few layers. But what you also want is the original video footage. So, how can we find that? Well, I know roughly what it's called, so I'm just going to go to Spotlight um, 2010 07. Seven space nineteen oh three. There we go. So now we what what we also want to do is bring in the actual video footage, which I know is saved in my project. There we go. So we're going to bring that in. Because at the moment, it does very much look like a still image. There's no movement, there's no nothing. But we're going to give it life. So let's bring in our actual footage under the edit. And then let's hide our edit, but make sure it's selected. And then hit P for the, sorry, not P. Uh, let's grab the pen tool. I forgot what the shortcut was. And let's. Uh, pin around the house quite loosely. Um, what we're going to do is use this um, road line to try and disguise where we've actually started this. And we turn that back on, you can see we've created a nice little overlay. If we hide the guides, you can see it's okay-ish. But we're going to work on that now. First thing you want to do is feather the border. Hit F. Can blend that, and instantly it's looking better. Not perfect, but spend a lot more time in Photoshop. Now, what do we want to do now? Now you can see when we scrub along, the, there is a couple of jolts. So what we want to do? Go to frame one. Right-click our footage. Stabilize motion. Choose rotation as well. Set track point one as How about this thing. Set track point two as this thing. Yep, that'd be cool. And now let's Analyze forward. I'm going to jump to the end of this tracking to save you the bottom. 